there! Welcome to our reading for March 2018. I really appreciate all of you being here. Thank you so much. If you want a more in-depth look at your month, check out your sun, moon, and rising sign videos. Remember, it is a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, and praying about. We're all spiritual. We're all psychic. We're all children of God. We're not all going through the same thing at the same time at the same pace. This could clarify the past. It could shed light into the future or be right in sync with the now. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. If you get a chance, try to check out the musical playlist that I put below. See if there's something personal for you in the lyrics, in the music, or just enjoy the songs. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. I hope you enjoy the reading, and I'll see you in a moment. Hi, Libra. Welcome to our reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's begin and get some clarity on the energies coming through in March 2018. We're going to start today's reading with the daily guidance from your angels, oracle cards. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels and energies of love, have for the highest and greatest good of all. We'll start with one card, get some general advice, wisdom, and clarity for Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising. Some insight into March 2018. Blessing in disguise. All right, Libra. So this is a nice card. Something that might feel like it's not exactly right or you don't understand something will start to come to light. I just thought of the light by Common. I'll put that below. So things will start to make more sense in March. Why you had to go through something. Why you're going through something. How divine timing is in place in your life. I want to say there's a box. Make sure you leave that box open, you know, for the highest and greatest good of everybody. So the best possible results come through for you and everybody else. So I want to say the wind is important wind energy, letting something go, feeling more free in your world to do something. Maybe that's in your schedule, changing your schedule around, balancing different things. Um, blessing in disguise. What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves, as things unfold, as something grows. I feel like something is being prepared for you. Maybe it wasn't ready yet. Maybe you couldn't see what was, what was behind that closed doors. It had to cook first. It had to grow first. It had to get ready for you. Um, this could be also free will, you know, somebody else's free will. Um, that changed the situation, bring that power back to you, Libra, with what you can do about a certain situation. Um, trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. Sometimes no is God's way to protect us from something that's not right for us or not ready for us yet. Sometimes there's something better we never imagined that's going to come through if you open the door and allow it in. Sometimes it's creating that space, you know, in your world so that thing can come through. So I'm getting like, I want to see active meditation, maybe a creative project, something like that, something you can do in the meantime that makes you feel good, that makes you feel um, confident in a situation and allow everything else to happen. Allow something to unfold before you. I just thought of, uh, I think it's called Unfold by uh, Alina Barrez in the Galmatians. I think I may have said that wrong. I'll put that below. Watch me unfold. 
Um, it makes me think of a lotus. Maybe the lotus is a symbol for you guys. Um, what appears to be a problem is actually part of an answered prayer. It could be communication too. Sometimes we learn how to communicate. Um, it makes me think of like that awkward entrance, that awkward opening line, but perhaps, you know, after you get past the awkward moment, the conversation flows better. You learn that person more. Uh, you understand somebody else. I'm getting maybe with somebody else. Maybe you just didn't understand each other before and Maybe you have to learn more about that particular person or more about that situation so you understand where somebody's coming from. Um, maybe you have to explain yourself so somebody else understands where you're coming from. Let's get clarity on this card. Blessing in disguise. Something is going to work out for you. It's going to turn out okay. I feel like you're safe. You are protected. There's a reason for it to happen like it is. Um... So it might make sense now. It might make sense later. Allow it to unfold. I keep getting an unfolding energy. Um, it makes me think of an onion peeling away the layers in something. You know, layer by layer by layer. Um, I just thought of Tears on My Pillow, which is a song from Greece. That was a really random one to come through for you guys. So I'll put that song below. That was kind of cool. And I have chills from that. So maybe there were tears that happened. You know, maybe it's a good cry. Even sometimes that good cry gets those emotions out. When something's bottled in, it can cause blockages in our energy, in our emotion. You know, maybe something is becoming unblocked. You know, sometimes a detour or a block is God's way to get us on the right path. You know, a way we would never have gone if that block or that detour didn't happen, if that delay didn't occur. Sometimes it's a divine timing. It's not what's on the schedule always, you know, meeting the right person at the right time when it's supposed to come through. So let's get clarity for Libra blessing in disguise. Um... I'm getting, feeling more and more comfortable with something. Maybe it was uncomfortable before. Sometimes it's that like caterpillar to the cocoon, to the butterfly thing. You get that point of transition where it's really uncomfortable before you grow your wings. There's big wings here as well. And an awesome outfit. I want to say like, I don't know, like a, oh, like a peasant girl thing going on. It makes me think of like a Renaissance period. Um, knights and shining armor kind of energy. Um, all right, let's move along. For all of the readings, I'm using the Animal Tarot. I'm really in love with this tarot deck. It's brand new, but I'm changing up the other tarot cards for you guys. I picked the Thalima Tarot. So let's get clarity for Libra on Blessings in Disguise. What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reason behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayers in the best way. So the best thing is coming through for you. Not always what you want, but what's actually better for you. Sometimes we have to go through something to grow to learn ourselves better, you know, to trust yourself more, um, to gain clarity in something. Um, I, I keep thinking of post-it notes for some reason. So maybe you're taking note on something or you need to make notes about something. Maybe you need to see something around you so you don't forget something. Um, I'm not sure why I thought of post-its. Um, that makes me think of that this is really random, Libra. <laughs> it makes me think of the movie uh, Rumi and Michelle's high school reunion where she pretends that she invented the post-it. Um, and then I'm thinking of that, that song in The Last Dance. So I'll put that song below. I can see them dancing, but I cannot think of the song. I will find it. I'll put it below for you guys. All right, let's get clarity on Blessing in Disguise for Libra. And then I just thought of <laughs> the time of my life 
from Dirty Dancing. So really random music coming through for Libra. All right, let's get clarity on Blessing in Disguise. And you have the Eight of Cups. So you're leaving something behind. You're leaving an old way of doing something behind. When I see the Eight of Cups, I think of the kid going away to college. You know, you still have your old childhood room at home with some of your stuff in it, and you're just bringing your necessities with you. You're bringing your new life with you, your new things with you. Um, you're cutting away the old and allowing in the new. Um, I think of sometimes when somebody goes through a breakup and then they chop their hair off. It's almost like it releases that old energy, that old thing weighing you down and brings new life to a situation. You know, you're cutting off the dead ends somewhere. Maybe some of you are getting a haircut. Um, you feel like you're leaving something behind and there's emotion in that when this card comes through. So you feel like you might be still emotionally attached to something, but there's definitely something better for you. So I just thought of, thought of, the, thought of the song, uh, Walk Away by Christina Aguilera. I'll put that below. I like that song a lot. It's really, it's really an awesome song. So you're walking away from something, you're leaving something behind, but it's a journey. You know, it's a new chapter. It's a new thing coming through, but you have to move along. You have to get on that new path and you have to see that new town, you know, that new situation. Maybe some of you are moving, relocating. Um, this could be like being in the same job forever and then going to a new job. You feel like you're leaving all that work that you had left behind and that you put so much energy into, you're leaving it, but it does mean there's something better for you. There's somewhere that you can grow. Um, I just think of a job where you've hit that like point where you can't go anymore and there's more that you want. There's more that you can do. There's more you can bring to the table somewhere. So don't get too emotionally invested with what you're leaving behind. You can always go back. You can go to back to check things out. Um, sometimes I feel like this is letting people uh, that are draining you or like things that are draining you fall away and allow the right connections to come through, you know, the right relationships to come into your world. That's with your new energy. I feel like sometimes this happens when somebody has a lot of spiritual growth in their world and maybe some of their friends or their family don't understand or they're just not there yet. We're all on a different path. You know, we all get there at different times and that's okay. Um, I just thought of a TV. Maybe some of you are just getting rid of your TV, something like that. You know, you can still go online and go on the internet and find a lot of knowledge there. Maybe you are putting your energy into something that's building for you, that feel, I get a creative energy for you, that's exciting to you. And you're leaving those old episodes behind, those reruns in the past. So, um, maybe you can learn from what you were going through over and over and over, but if it's something that wasn't beneficial to you, change it. It's up to you to make that change. Um, there's a full moon here. So maybe the full moon is important. Um, the moon energy, completion kind of energy. Um, also I want to say a loner energy, doing something on your own, going somewhere on your own, being independent. Um, Maybe a journey as well. It makes me think of Don't Stop Believing by Journey. I'll put that below. <clears throat> All right, let's get another card. We're going to go to the Animal Tarot. Let's get clarity on the Eight of Cups and Blessing in Disguise. Um, I hear new town, new location, relocation. Maybe you're moving a new home, you know, a place that you were in many, many years and now you're going somewhere new. And that's kind of scary, kind of different, but ultimately better for you. Um, making a move. Let's get another card for Libra. Clarity on Blessing in Disguise, Eight of Cups. And this is nice. 
This is the Ace of Spring coming through. This is a brilliant idea. This is something that gets you passionate, something that gets you excited. This is the big, exciting energy of the tarot. It's that big, exciting start, that big new adventure coming through. You know, even if maybe you're a little like apprehensive about it, it's something that once you start that journey, once you make that move, once you make that, uh, I'm getting like hit the gas, you know, hit the gas pe pedal and start. Once you start, once you begin, it, it becomes bigger and better. It's an adventure kind of energy. The ace means it still hasn't, it's still um, an idea. It's still in the ether. You still have to make action on this idea. You have to do something about it. I feel like the ace of spring is also a really creative energy coming through. I see like, I want to say lots of colors, <laughs> like crayons and colored pencils and maybe paints. Maybe you're doing something in your home or your apartment and you're changing the color palette, um, giving something a new flair. You know, different colors can bring a different energy. Like, you know, one can be soothing, one can be invigorating, um, one can be inspiring. Maybe you're changing colors around, something like that. Um, I want to say swatches, you know, putting swatches of color on a wall. Um, here the Ace of Spring is the White Tiger. So, a cat-like energy, a really powerful energy. It also, also makes me think of the Huntress. I just thought of a uh, Hunter. I think it's called Hunter by Dido. I'll put that below. Oh, I haven't heard that in a while. Um, all right. So the White Tiger is a wonderful new opportunity presents itself. It may be, it may come as a surprise, but if you're, if you still want to leap into action, but you'll still want to leap into action and passionately pursue every possibility. I feel like that's that box again. Don't put something in a box and close the lid. Even if it's in a box, even if you're sure of something, allow it to be open-ended, you know, have fun. I'm going back to that journey. Have fun on the journey, not necessarily the destination. You know, make that trip fun. Take a detour. Um, it makes me think of small towns or maybe big cities, something different. Maybe whatever you're used to, it's the opposite and meeting the locals. You know, I don't know where that came from. There's also the new moon here. So you have the full moon and the new moon. So maybe it's working in cycles, cycles of something brand new and completion. Um, I also think of unfinished artwork. So maybe you have something in the closet, something you're gonna pull out and revisit, redo. Maybe it being unfinished is perfect. The White Tiger, wonderful new opportunity presents itself. It may have come as a surprise, but you'll still want to leap into action and passionately pursue every possibility. It's something that gets you excited, something that you want to do. So if you're excited about a trip, you're excited about a new communication, a new relationship coming through, possibly like a new job offer, even something like that. And then you put the worry on what you'll leave behind. Maybe just get more information and start to pursue something a little more, start to find out more about it. And, uh, I feel like uh, once you start down that path, the detours fall away. I see like, uh, I want to say like um, um, when you do the hurdles, like in high school, something like that, like there were hurdles in the situation or things that you had to overcome or bumps that you had to get over. But once you start down, the less hurdles there are, you know, the more they, somebody comes and just moves them away and your path is clear. You have to take action here. You have to have to hit go, hit the gas and make something work. Um, I'm getting like green energy, like being new at something, but you're also very natural at it. I feel like this is a talented card. You know, it's your natural talents, your natural abilities that come through and shine here. So this is really nice. Libra, it's a nice new beginning. You might be leaving something behind. You know, it might feel like you're emotionally connected to something, but there's something really good coming through for you. But you have to take action. You have to make it happen. It's up to you to do something here. If it's a good idea coming from somebody else, you know, you'll know if it's right for you, if you should possibly pursue it. 
um, I see like a big light bulb. It'll feel like that light bulb is going off inside of you. You know, like uh, I think of like the little kid getting ready for like the first day of school or when there's a field trip that day and that's the day you get up early to go to school and, you know, get your outfit together and change your hair around. Maybe you're changing your look, changing your style. Maybe it's a fresh energy coming through. I keep getting like a haircut energy with you guys. So, um, you know, maybe it's dyeing your hair. It makes you feel different. Something like that, you know, trimming your beard a different way, growing a big bushy beard, something like that. Um, See if it makes you feel different, you know, if it opens up conversations. I'm getting like, um, I want to say like almost like a peacock kind of energy. So um, a special flair for something that opens that conversational door. So let's get one more card. Clarity for Libra. We're going to go to the Winged Enchantment Oracle. Clarity on Blessing in Disguise. When one door closes, another one opens. Sometimes you just have to walk down the hall to find that door. Sometimes that door is a window. Sometimes it's the front door. Sometimes it's the back door. You know, it might not be the way you thought. Um, I just saw somebody finding keys. So finding the right key for the right lock at the right time. Um, I want to say something that was lost comes through. Um, maybe a number you wrote down, something like that, that you look for in the past, couldn't find, and it turns up now. And now is when that position is available. Now is when that relationship is available. Maybe somebody, you know, you had a crush on somebody and they were with somebody before. Um, you randomly call somebody and now they're available. They find your number and call you. Maybe it's something like that. Um, that's kind of weird. All right, let's get clarity. Um, on the Ace of Spring, that's like the Ace of Rods, the Ace of Fire, and the Eight of Cups, and Blessing in Disguise for Libra. And you have the Grouse coming through. I like this card. This is the drumming and dancing and rhythm kind of card. So changing up the rhythm, changing up the song, changing your dance. Um, vibrational energy. So the Grouse is the little bird that does this fancy little dance and they make like a noise. You can They're usually pretty hidden in the forest, but um, they're sort of like a birds of paradise. They do this little dance where they like make a rhythm on the log. <laughs> this has come up in a general reading before. Um, so maybe you're making some noise. I hear the squeaky wheel gets the oil. Maybe also check your cars. Maybe your car needs a tire rotation. Check the oil in your car. Um, maybe there's some maintenance coming through. Maybe you're helping somebody else. Um, check their, check their fluids in their car. I keep seeing a car. Um, so this is also 14. It makes me think of temperance, balancing opposite energies together. That's like you, you know, you have that balance between your head and the heart. Um, it could be balance between masculine and feminine, a hot and cold. I just thought of hot and cold by Katy Perry. I'll put that below. All right, let's see. The grouse, number 14. So that's also a five. It breaks down to a five, which for me, I think of a wheel. I think of change when I see the five. Something changing, something turning, something spinning. All right, so I opened up to five instead of 14. All right, 14, grouse. I'll let you see this. I am grouse. The dancer of sacred dances. I just thought of joining a gym or signing up for a class, maybe doing a ballet class, a yoga class, something like that that gets you into your body. It could even be sports, you know, um, getting back into the rhythm of something by getting in tune with your body, maybe running every morning or walking more. Um, I am the vortex of energy. Oh, that, that's pretty cool. So that's like being in the now. I am the personal power that spins your reality. I am what you create through movement, through action. I am the shaman's ally and the portal of spirit. I am the entrance and the ability to entrance. It's time to let go, that's this, and release your storehouse of energy. 
send it up and onward. Let it move through in every part of your being. I am earth magic. I am ceremony. I am the heart of the medicine man. You have been drowned out by the material and the mundane. The same old, same old. Something keeping you stuck in the mud. It's time to break free, you know, to breach through something. You have loosened your etheric ties. Step into a little personal ritual and wake up the gods. Wear a headdress. Bang the drums. Summon the ancients. Great things are awakened with movement. You are the power of instinct. You are reverberation. You are the energy of dance. You are grouse. So, I just thought of somebody just turning on some awesome music, music and like putting the boogie on in your house. Maybe going to a dance. Maybe some of you even have a kid going to a dance. Something like that. But I feel like it's more dancing energy in your world. Maybe some of you actually play the drums um, or you're just changing up your beat. You know, having a new, um, having new moves come through, uh, <laughs> like new moves through your feet, new ways of doing something. All right, Libra, I hope this reading was helpful to you. I love you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.